It's no secret that ChatGPT is an amazing tool, but the problem is the majority of people who use ChatGPT, you can tell they use ChatGPT. So what can we do to improve the way that we prompt and improve our results? Well, I've been using ChatGPT since before it was ChatGPT. So before they released ChatGPT to the public, we had OpenAI API key access, and that's what developers use, Jasper, Jarvis, Conversion AI, tools like that were using the OpenAI API to build ChatGPT, in essence, into their products. So I know a thing or two about prompting. Now these are the five tips I would give to any beginner to get started right. And you wouldn't believe how much better ChatGPT performs when you start to improve the way you prompt. Number one is you want to be very clear about what you want. For example, instead of asking it to give you marketing strategies, say out line five digital marketing strategies for e-commerce companies targeting millennials. That prompt gives it three different items to work with and it also gives you more options with the results. You can also get it to refine those results by telling it what you liked and didn't like. Number two is to set your role. This is so weird, but telling ChatGPT exactly what it is will change the way it responds. So giving it an identity totally transforms its output. So again, if you tell it to act as an award-winning marketing expert with five different PhDs in various marketing studies or any kind of specialist you need, you're going to get more professional, more relevant, and more quality responses closer to what you're looking for. Now, another tip is all about making it work harder. In this case, context is king. You've got to feed ChatGPT the right details up front. Think of it like briefing a team member. The more relevant info they have, the better work they'll produce. I always try to throw in specific examples when I need something particular. So any blog posts you've got, any notes you've got, now's the time to use that context window to your advantage. Now, another tip is to get the format you want up front. Tell ChatGPT exactly what you want and how you want it presented. Whether it's a bullet point list, a table, a flowing narrative, being specific about the format saves you so much time going back and forth. Now this next tip is by far my favorite tip because I spot so many people using ChatGPT and it makes me cringe. The trick is that your content shouldn't be evidently ChatGPT. All the telltale signs shouldn't be there. So what you need to do is tell it which words you want it to avoid. Words, phrases, anything. Start to compile a list of common words that you see. So the unveilings, the understandings, the delvings, the divings, all of those words that you see and you know in your heart of hearts is ChatGPT generated content, start to make a list. Now don't worry, I've got you. If you want my list of words and phrases to avoid that you can throw right into your prompt, you're welcome to it. And trust me, telling it to avoid these words is going to transform your output dramatically. The final tip is to refine and reshape. So don't just take the first answer and run with it. If something is not quite right, ask follow-up questions or request tweaks. I usually start broad and then narrow things down. It's like sculpting. You rough out the shape first and then you fine tune the details. And remember, ChatGPT is like any other tool. It's not about what the tool can do, it's about how you use it. And these aren't just random tips. These are tried and tested strategies that I use every single day. And they are seriously going to level up your ChatGPT. GPT game.